Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. As we all know, today is a very special day. It is the first day of Season 3 and as always, like I did in Season 1 and Season 2, I'm going to be analysing the Battle Pass straight away off the foot bat. First thing I do is purchase all the tiers. I know, <coughs> sad, I know. Don't really have the funds to be doing that. Well, let me get off that quickly so there's no spoilers. Um, just because I like to have everything unlocked, I like to cover the videos on things as soon as it is done. <coughs> because... To be fair, I don't even know how long it takes to level up on tiers in this game because I've never done it. I've just bought them all straight away, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, lets me shoot everything straight off the bat. <clears throat> but we're going to hop straight into the battle pass, give it an analyse, see what I think's looking good, what isn't looking so good, and compare it to the last two battle passes I think we've had. So, I think there's been two. Yeah, there's definitely been two. Season one. Yeah, the season zero, one, two, and then this is the third, right. This is the third one. See what's popping, see what's good. So, let's hop straight into that right now. Okay, so starting off at tier, well, <clears throat> tier 1, when you purchase the Battle Pass, you get these automatically. We have the Alex skin, which looks pretty decent, doesn't look as good as Ghost. Uh, and we have the Hard Labor Yego, Yego skin, um, looks pretty decent, yet again, pretty bad um, at the same time. We do have uh, skins for quads and vehicles in Warzone, um, which I never ever use vehicles in Warzone, I think it's an instant position giveaway. Uh, as you appear on the minimap, um, wouldn't be so bad if it was just the sound, but you literally appear as a red vehicle on the minimap. So it gives you away straight away. We have a season three XP boost. That is new. That is new. I don't exactly know what that is. That's just general XP. Um, not sure if it's battle pass XP or just XP in general. We've got the Cirrus Tez um, <coughs> Deagle variant. Uh, the in the thick of it uh, calling card looks pretty decent. One hour of double weapon XP. Uh, I've got so much double weapon XP tokens uh, stacked up because I just don't need them. I've got Damascus, so I don't need need them, unfortunately. Uh, we've got the Cash Stack Emblem. That looks pretty decent, to be fair. We've got the Samfly uh, Combat Knife. Uh, 100 cob points. Uh, one hour of double XP, which is great. Uh, Sandstorm <coughs> Org uh, variant. It's not the Org, no, it's not the Org, it's the Ram. Uh, we've had a couple of sandstorms in the previous ones. Uh, seems to be a reoccurring thing. The Loyal Boy Charm, pretty cool. Um, Yusuf One Mill Slim Skin. Uh, I do believe that adding, they've added <coughs> skins that resemble real life armed forces, like, like armed police, um, army in general. Uh, the Angry Sergeant Sticker, uh, something I don't use. Cod Points again, one hour of double weapon XP. We have the Headshot Spray. <clears throat> something that doesn't get used as much as it did back in Black Ops 2. Uh, the Renetti weapon is that a new pistol. That is a new pistol. Probably something I'm not going to use. Kill it on the loose uh, calling card with ghosts on it. That's pretty cool. 100 cod points. We have the Mighty Mo LMG uh, variant. I think that's for the PKR. I'm not 100%. The Valor Fawn skin. <clears throat> Top Dog Operator fish finishing move. And can, can we preview this? Let's take a look at this. Also, a type dog comes. We had something similar to that with um, another one that you could. It was before this season. We were black dog. Um, I can't remember what it was called. The Jaboa uh, Famas variant. 45 minutes double XP. 100 cob points again. Care package weapon charm. I feel like we get so many weapon charms. Double weapon XP. We have the from the pit uh, buggy variant. Uh, pretty de oh wow, pretty decent. We've got the boom slang blueprint for. I think that's the HDR, could be mistaken, could be mistaken. Out of reach spray, we have double wep uh, double XP, 15 minutes. The SKSF uh, <clears throat> skin, I think this is the end of one of those uh, real life skins that resembles something from real life. Uh, this is the new weapon, the SKS, it reminds me of the Galil a lot. Um, if you can sort of see where I'm coming from, obviously it's not exactly, but it does remind me slightly of it. I think it's the front end of the gun that reminds me of that. 100 cod points, Blue Skies watch, I don't use any watches apart from the KD watch, um, the gang's all here, that is a pretty cool um, <coughs> calling card of ghosts, I don't know who the rest are, but pretty cool, in fact I think that's actually all the operators in the game, in one, possibly, I'm not 100%, black ASP, which is a blueprint for the Odin I do believe, uh, 45 minutes of double weapon XP, Bada Boom emblem, that is pretty cool, uh, the cover up blueprint for the MP5, I think that is the MP5. No, it's not. I think it's the UMP. I think <clears throat> Warzone Express vehicle skin. 
Quick Draw, which is a D-Day skin. Pretty cool. 100 cod points. The Greenhorn, a legendary blueprint for, I think that's a 725. One hour double XP, Desert Fox sticker. Um, the Tuba Car Breath for, I think that's the PKM. Double weapon XP, on target spray. I swear I've had one pretty much the same as that a minute ago. It's just a different operator. 100 card points. Shoot crew, um, calling card. Para, para, para rescue, um, real life skin, I'm gonna call them. Rampage, now that is a pretty cool variant if you do ask me for the MP5. I do like that, <clears throat> I'll be honest. Echo Emblem, 15 minutes of XP. Bear Necessities Charm, I like that charm, I'll be honest. Beef Eater Blueprint for, oh, what is that? What is that? Is that the Fal? I think that's the Fal. I think, 100 card points, 1 hour double XP. Weapon XP, that is. Uh, bulletproof Heavy Rain Sticker. Chuck Waller, uh, <clears throat> Bison Variant. Burger Town Skin, I like that, to be fair. There we go, look at that guy with the Damascus M4. Um, hammer Down Watch, See You Later Spray, 30 minutes double XP, the Long Road Calling Card, Mow Down uh, from the P90, 100 card points, <laughs> uh, Take a Knee Emblem, we have 30 minutes of double weapon XP, I See All Charm, the CTSFO uh, Male Slim Skin, uh, just another real life one, the Sand Sweeper. Uh, AK, I think that is the AK. Yep, I think I think that was the AK. Heat Seeker sticker, one hour double XP, hundred cod points. The Blue Ridge Racer skin. Um, z I don't know how you're gonna pronounce that, but that is another weapon uh, variant. Shoot to kill. Uh, calling card, forty-five minutes to weapon XP. Getting some air <coughs> emblem with ghost on the quad. Um, Tracker is a Talon skin. Uh, Witching Hour is a variant for I don't know what. <clears throat> it's a sniper, so I, f I don't know. That's the AX50, I'm pretty sure. 100 cop points again, 15 minutes double XP. Lil Jug, uh, Weapon Charm, Lil Juggernaut. Guard Wand, a blueprint for I don't know what gun that is. <clears throat> Literally can't recognize the guns. I'll be honest, I hardly use any of the guns apart from when going for Damascus. Sergeant Star. Sar Sergeant Shark sticker. We have a one hour double weapon XP again with me spray. Next up, we have the Muck and Maya uh, shotgun blueprint for the what is that? The model? Yeah, it is. We have the Def Dealer Mara skin. Look, it pretty much looks the same as any other skin that she's ever had, in my opinion. 100 cod points. We have the light clockwork uh, <coughs> calling card. The Tamagunchi uh, Black Watch, so if you bought the Tamagunchi then you play yourself because it's on this now uh, for a lot cheaper and you get everything else. The Cyborg Emblem, the All That Glitters MP7 variant, one hour of double XP. We have the Chain Gun Weapon Emblem which is a gold minigun. We have 100 card points, um, we have a Crown of Rounds sticker. We then have the Alex skin, which is an iconic character from the campaign um, of Modern Warfare 2, I think. I might be mistaken, I've not actually, oh no, it sure is on this campaign. I've not played a lot of it. Um, Indomitable, uh, is it, that's what it's called, so pretty cool. That is tier 100. <clears throat> and then we have the Utility Tool, which is a variant of the SKS, I think it's called, which looks pretty cool in my opinion, I'll be honest. And then we have a helicopter skin and obviously the emblem for finishing the season 3 battle pass. And that is pretty much it. Apart from the SKS, I think this battle pass is pretty bad compared to last seasons. Obviously we had two new weapons in last seasons um, compared to one. Well, I mean we had two but it's a pistol. So, for me it's not cutting it. Definitely not as good as last time. I mean, there could be other things I'm missing and things to come. I know there is a lot of new maps um, being added. There's two Modern Warfare, f no, there's Backlot of the original Modern Warfare and Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3. Out of the two, I prefer Hard Hat. Hard Hat was such a good map back in the day. I, I mean, Backlot was great as well. So I'm looking forward to them. I think Backlot's in the game now, but they're gonna be adding stuff um, like in the coming weeks. They're gonna stage it as well. So it's not just one big drop and then there's nothing. They're going to be adding new things throughout this season. 
which is great in my opinion. So I didn't actually reach max rank last time, which I am ashamed of. And if we hop into barracks, I'll show you my rank progression um, of season. Where is it? Season two. I literally did nothing. It was a shame compared to season one when I nearly did it all, which is a shame as well. I really should have just grinded them last ones out. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the battle pass down in the comments below and make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below as well and make sure you do a bell notification to turn on so you don't miss out any new content that's going to be coming in season 3 because it's going to be a good season I'm sure of it um, and I also created a Twitter account link is in the description for that so make sure you do go ahead and follow that as well as well as my Instagram as well that's also down there follow them both stay up to date what's going on when videos do release thank you guys ever so much for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one peace